What's going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end so you can hear the full story and all the details in the case. For the day one fam, y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Oh yeah, be sure to share the channel with your peoples. Everybody is welcome. Let's get right into the story. As a parent, it's nothing more fulfilling than raising your child, watching them grow from a kid to a young adult and walking across that stage to get that high school diploma. For the teen, this is the beginning of their journey as an adult. Whether they choose to enter the work world or pursue a higher education by going to college. During a time like this, it's filled with happiness and joy. Everyone is excited about the future and what's the next steps of life. I know personally, for young men, the pressures of even staying focused, going to school to even reach this point to receive a diploma. I myself dropped out in 10th grade and received my Maryland State Diploma in prison at 19 years old. So for a young man or woman to make it all the way through school takes a lot of drive and willpower. At a special event like a graduation, the last thing on most people's minds are let me bring or grab my gun just in case something happens. As it's mostly families, supporters, and a lot of love going around on these days. But now in the climate we live in, you just never know when or where an incident will occur. With kids 13 and 14 years old walking around with 30 shots before they even realize the consequences behind having a gun, let alone shooting one. In the perfect world, you go watch your loved one, receive that diploma, love on them, and congratulate them and be done with the situation. But we never expect our peoples to walk across that stage and minutes later, while still in a gown, lose their life. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we'll be taking it to Richmond, Virginia to discuss a case of an ongoing dispute between teens that left a young man and his stepfather gone after a high school graduation. Back in 2023, the future for 18-year-old Sean Jackson looked bright. The young man had a strong support system around him that consisted of his mother, stepfather, 36-year-old Lorenzo Smith, and friends. Sean, like most young men his age, definitely had love for his homeboys, and they all ran in a tight circle. Most attended the same high school, Huguenot High in Richmond. It was now coming close to graduation time for the young man and his friends, and everyone was excited. Like most young people growing up in the inner city, it had been certain situations that led to an ongoing team beef. Some of Sean's friends being shot and some fallouts between people he once called bro. One of those old friends was 19-year-old Amari Pollard. Amari and Sean were once close, but somewhere in the mix of their friendship, things went left. In one alleged situation, one of Sean's people was shot on a bus stop in which he would fortunately survive the incident, but Amari laughed at the situation on social media. This caused a back and forth between the two young men, with Sean telling Amari, you want to play? but you know how I get, and you better not get caught loafing or without your gun. The back and forth would go on for almost a year, but on June 6, 2023, this was supposed to be a happy day for everyone. Huguenot High School's graduation and where Sean would be walking across that stage and also a few of his friends. His family, mother, and stepfather Lorenzo were all excited for the young man, and they all headed to the location. The place was packed with families getting ready for their loved ones name to be called. Also in attendance that day was Amari, who came to watch his cousin receive their diploma as well. As the ceremony started, Sean walked across the stage, all smiles, and accepted his diploma and hugged his family. But the mood quickly changed once him and Amari spotted each other. A lot of teens had walked across the street from the theater where the graduation was taking place at to Monroe Park. While everyone was celebrating, Amari thought he would be safer if he went to the car 
and got his gun. Allegedly at the same time, Sean's stepfather, Renzo, sensing attention, walked to his car as well and retrieved two guns. Also, a few of Sean's friends went to get their blitz too. The group all met up in the park. Some kind of altercation between Sean's people and Amari happened. After a few words were exchanged, multiple shots went off from different guns. The crowd panicked as people ran and struggled to get their loved ones to safety. Amari took off running to a parking deck, gun in hand. Being identified as one of the suspects, police quickly entered the deck. Scared and shaken up, the young man claimed, I was terrified, scared for my life. They all had guns and said they were about to smash me, so I shot. Not knowing exactly what took place, police tried to calm Amari down, who stated he wasn't safe and they were going to come back to get him. Back at the park, seven people had been shot and more injured, and three guns were found on the scene. Two of the victims were Sean and his stepfather, Renzo. They both unfortunately passed away on the location. Sean suffered six wounds all to the back of his body, as if he was running away at the time. Already in custody, police asked Amari what exactly happened. He stated Sean had been threatening him for over a year, and once he realized him and all his peoples were at the graduation and saw him, he felt he should grab his gun for protection. Amari claimed at least four people, including Sean's stepfather and two friends, were trying to corner him in a park, and he felt it was a death trap. So out of fear, he started shooting. With that, Amari was taken into custody, charged with two counts of first-degree hit and weapon violations. As the incident put the community in shock that someone would shoot up a graduation, two of Sean's friends were also taken into custody, charged with reckless endangerment. As it was stated, they were also shooting. But Sean was never in possession of a weapon. It was deemed a mass shooting. As the family of Renzo and Sean spoke out, they couldn't believe what happened. They stated Lorenzo was just trying to protect his stepson after seeing Amari with a gun. And the men didn't come there looking for trouble. Renzo drove with two guns for protection, but no one planned for that situation to happen. As police received the footage, it showed multiple people, Amari, Sean, Renzo, and others at the park. Seconds later, chaos erupted as Amari was trying to claim self-defense. Some analyzed the situation different, though, as it seemed Sean was shot running away. As the case started making its way to trial, the community was torn between who was right and who was wrong. But Amari would catch a break. Being that it was multiple people shooting, it was determined he was only being accused of shooting Sean, and no one knew who fired the fatal shot that hit Renzo. So one of his first degree charges was dropped. In a surprising twist, what was supposed to be a joy trial, as Amari lawyers was arguing self-defense, some looked at it different and stated he started shooting at the men first. The judge was even confused after watching the video, but also felt someone getting shot from behind six times was not self-defense at all. The courtroom was packed with both families, and Amari decided he would skip the trial and plead guilty to slaying Sean. In the end, the judge sentenced Amari to 43 years, all suspended, but 25 in prison. Rest in peace to Sean and Lorenzo. I send my prayers and condolences to their family, especially Sean's mother, who lost her son and husband on the same day they were supposed to be celebrating. Sean still had on his graduation gown when all this took place. This is a wild situation that could have easily went a lot of different ways. With that many guns and ego, seven people were shot. Fortunately, the others survived. But for that kind of drama to happen at a graduation, it's crazy. I watched the video too. And honestly, I can't say who was right and wrong. Lorenzo went to grab his guns as well as Sean's friends and Amari. And instead of everybody going to their cars, and just leaving and going their separate ways, it was decisions to continue to engage with each other that caused the father and son their lives and a young man 25 years in prison. I'm curious on what y'all think about this situation and what took place. Let me know in the comments. And remember, we got to succeed not to fail, so we won't be just another herd to help. 
Yeah, man, crazy situation. Rest in peace, that young man and his stepfather. I'm going to leave this one open for discussion. Y'all definitely let me know what y'all think about this one. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. That's another episode of Hood Tales. Y'all already know it's all love, fam. It's your boy Tony two times. I'm out.